Look, I live in two worlds. One, the archaic world of drums and drumming. I mean, strongly embedded in it. I have one foot deeply planted in that. It's like love striking a membrane and hearing its report and playing real rhythm. And I have one firmly planted in the digital domain, which is which affords me sounds like being a gamelan or you know a windstorm at a sea or a tectonic plate, you know, or Jupiter or the Big Bang or any universal sound I could possibly imagine. All well and good. So how do you navigate both? And how do you entertain and give pleasure? And this is, yeah. this is what we're seeing now. This is such a wonderful time where science and art are now handshaking and becoming one and doing incredible, incredible things. Uh, and as musicians, we, these, this is an unknown space. This is not like written in the books or anything. So people are moving towards it intuitively. And that's a beautiful thing to watch and to see unfold. You and I are both experiencing me as a musician. Yeah. I am embedding the electronic worlds that I feel comfortable and familiar with in my music. Because I'm into pulsing and throbbing. You know, I mean, I love the blues. I've started with the blues. Love country music. I love, you know, I love music from the, the world's music. I love Islamic music. I love... You know, music from Bali, and original music, I love Arctic music, I love pygmy music, I love music. Seeing how, see, music has to play a role in society for it to go on. So that's the role of music. So what's happening is musicians are finding what people want to hear and how they're feeling, and they're creating a new music. But there'll always be music, but there'll only be mu that music as long as it serves the community. Once it stops doing that, that music dies, and music will die, and new music will take its place. What you're seeing now is uh, just a wonderful, wonderful uh, ground, uh, groundswell of binary and acoustic information coming together into this new music. Some people are just into the jackhammer groove, yeah, yeah. and other people are moving into the fluidity yeah, of yeah. life and so forth. So you have these two giant dynamics, both at opposites, and then there are this, and then it comes together in this wonderful thing. And they still live it in their spheres as well. So now we're able to experience, thank thank you very much to the internet, yeah. all of the world's influences on all the music. I mean, there's only one music that I know in the world that is not, uh, not that is not fused, and that would be the Goethe Tantra Choir from Tibet. But they live 25, right. 3,000 3, 3, years behind uh, monastery walls in Tibet, and they didn't have radios, and they didn't have any... So they're pure. But other than that, there is no... There's no non-fused music on the planet. It's just how the music is being fused is the art form and, and the wonder of it all. Because there will always be music. Yeah. We are coded for music. It's not like a luxury. It's a necessity. It, it builds us, our minds. Are, it makes us... It's culturally specific and it's culturally defining. And so, you know, music is really more important than just to be able to dance to. I mean, it's medicinal. Right. You understand? Music has great powers. We don't even have any idea about. And so now we're finding out, science is finding out what there is in music that can be used for medicine, diagnostics, and all of those things, because music is just controlled vibrations. And we know that it's a vibratory universe, and we're vibratory animals embedded in a universe of vibrations. Duh! <laughs> So anyway, I don't but know. No, that's good. No, that's question, good. That's good. I that's, appreciate that's that.